This is the home of the Mount Rainier Railroad. Here's a display, static, one that will probably never run again. It's the gateway to Mount Rainier. Now this is the Hobo Inn and these railroad cabooses are rentals for motels. These are old box cars that's been converted into living quarters for motel. And a string of cabooses. Railroad buffs will recognize this as a Milwaukee bay window caboose. The brakeman and conductor could sit in the bay window and watch the wheels and the brake bearings for hot boxes on curves. This is the uh, train that we'll be riding on tomorrow. This is the open platform car. What they've done here is pull two passenger cars in alongside of one another and opened them up and made a restaurant out of it. This is the, the Squally Valley River Project, which is a reservoir. And this is uh, between Eatonville and Elby. This again is on the uh, Highway 7 between Eatonville and Elby. A wet wool coat that smells like a horse blanket? Yeah, you bet. <laughs> so how many are there? This, of course, is a Civil War reenactment here at Elby for the uh, train ride. And it is a wet day. Looks like the Union encampment over here with a drummer. Hope it's waterproof drum. Now this is a replica of the Union Navy. I would teach the, the uh, people who wanted to become officers, they called them midshipmen. I would teach them rhetoric. In here. And it's German Lutheran. It's German Lutheran, yes. 
Yes, the, they came from a little town in Germany, and I believe the river was called Elba. And so. And now that's one family, or? Yes, it, it was the Lutkins family, I believe. They came over here, and it was a, a um, logging town because of the railroad, the steam engines out here. They have services here once a month. Once on, a month, on, okay. On the third uh, Sunday at 2.30 in the afternoon. That engine signaling for the crossing now. with this fella, uh, Navy gunner uh, mate. He uh, is a school bus driver in Marysville. Comes up here to play Civil War Navy. What they're doing, they're dropping off one car and adding a, another closed car. Yeah. This is the uh, 10 o'clock run that just got back in, and he'll be doing the 1 o'clock run now.
during the Civil War. How many Navy battles on land? More than 2,000 land battles were fought by the Navy. Is that right? And what part, what part of the war? All what, over. All In over? In fact, the first six months of the war, more than half of the Army cannons had sailors on them instead of soldiers. Is that right? But what happened was at the end of the Mexican War, when they brought the guns, they brought the guns back, and down south they put the guns out in the town square and they'd shoot them off on Washington's birthday and all the holidays. Up north they stuck the guns in, in arsenals and armories and nobody shot them for 30 years. So they didn't have anybody trained to shoot the cannons up north. Is that right? But the Navy's main job was suppressing piracy. That's true. So yeah. every single sailor on a ship knows how to shoot the cannon. Tell me about the Zeppelin, the Zeppelin story Ferdinand again. Ferdinand von Zeppelin just was one of the German observers to the American Civil War. He watched what we did with balloons, went back to Germany, and invented the rigid airship, which everybody calls the Zeppelin now. Yeah, that's neat. That's a great story. That is. What do you do in real life? I know you volunteer for this because you love it, but what do you do in real life? My real life job? I work for the Postal Service. Good for you. Drive <laughs> bulk mail trucks. Yeah. And how, how often do you volunteer? Uh, well, there's about, we have four major battle events usually a year with the Washington Club. And then okay. there's events like this, Sounds which good. are not full weekend events, they're just a one day thing. And then, uh, our company does a lot of off-season drill work too, and that's usually one Saturday uh, for three or four months in the fall and, and in the spring. Now, where are you from? Uh, I live in Gig Harbor. Gig Harbor. This group is pretty much based out of uh, Tacoma, Olympia. So, you know, some of them live farther south, Lacey. Some of them up north in Everett. They're, they're kind of all over. So. Thank you. They're hanging out the window. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's absolutely right. Oh, 
Is your bucket list? Yeah! <laughs> oh, how could you go away? Find oh, that was easy. <laughs> you must have went somewhere really cool. What are you running? 175 pounds. About 185. About 185. What's the boiler rated at? 185. Yeah, 185. They can't see out very good. Uh, you can see well. Uh, yeah, you can see fine. You got to depend on the other guy too to kind of watch yeah. outside of the tree. Yeah, the very guys that run it. Yep. Yep. Hanging out the window. Yeah. The window the window or... What grade oil? Uh, recycle. Recycle. We heard it's like from the the stuff they suck out of the gas station. Yep. They clean it up and then you use it. We make it go away. Ah, yeah. Well, that runaround was good, too. Yeah. You don't even have to clean it up, do you? Yeah. Yeah. You're very good. Yeah. Wake me when the time is out. I'm going to take a nap. Yeah, of course. Nice to do it, man. <laughs>
several crossings that he has to whistle for. You can hear the engine starting to work now.
first gun coming this far. Oops, this gun this far. I'm coming to you, Sam. I'm coming, Sam. This is the tail car, the end car. Another nice old hay barn just uh, between uh, Eatonville and the turn off to Elby. <laughs>